So I got this story for you. A Stranger Things fans had her life turned upside down after being catfished by a scammer claiming to be Darcy Matambrbri who plays Billy in the series. Sorry Stranger Things fans, I meant Daiquiri. The single mother says that she left her husband for the scammer after meeting on an online forum and even sent them nearly 10k. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't even send 10k to my own family just in case. <laughs> but I'm like, why would you say you really need love? Why do people trust people on the internet? It's like everybody has a human right to enjoy their life. I'm like, yeah, but how for? I think the real victim here is the husband, but hey. I don't know the full story. So apparently this started on an online forum. They talked for about a year and that's enough to send people 10k. Sounds easy peasy. Might, <laughs> I'm in the wrong business. All I want to say, why do you want to believe that somebody so rich is having such a bad experience in life for true love that is worth making a bond with you while you are sending him money? I am a single mom from Kentucky. I have a daughter who's about to turn seven. I have been a single parent pretty much since she's been born. I'm separated from my husband. He's estranged, I guess you could put it that way. He lives over 500 miles away. Uh, we separated because he was very toxic. Look man, it's a horrible situation. I would not advocate for anybody to be a single mom because hey, it can be a consistent job with two parents. One, ah, uh, but the idea that you have 10k, that I hope that's extra money and you're going to invest it in finding love by somebody that has even more money than you. When your husband was toxic and you're like, hey, 10k, there's a weird disconnect. I'm like, how just enjoy the 10k with your daughter have fun and maybe on that journey you might meet somebody that says hey that's a good mom i want to be near this person now i'll just invest i respect mom so much i didn't have one but when you do something like this i'm like me and him just really hit it off but of course i'm suspicious from the get-go until he starts doing things that make me believe that he is who he is so you noticed something was wrong I'm gonna kill you. He meant a person that's going to chase me in the future. I'm like, yo, why? What's the reason that you guys aren't able to meet face to face? Well, see, okay, that's one thing that we actually bonded over. And basically through the relationship, he was venting to me after a few months about his partner saying she's very controlling of him. He doesn't get to do the things he wants to do you know she's always there she's always got to supervise and I kind of empathize with that because my ex-husband was that way at about a year after we kind of admitted feelings for each other and he said I want you to be my girlfriend that you have the sentiment that something is wrong you are the victim because you are you're lacking love but you still put yourself in that position because you have hope and there is a certain amount of hope that I think like yo um come back to reality and they only chatted no video call no voice call and you i mean before you send the money get something i don't know you have so much hope it's beautiful but it's dangerous too i went back into his past history like on his instagram and things the romantic sort of you know flirty messages that they would send to each other like you know post about each other had stopped within that time period ladies and gentlemen we got him. You know what's even more funny? I was that idiot. I remember certain people stopped doing certain things and I would assume, oh, it's because I started talking to it and I gave them good advice as if I'm God. <laughs> and they only think about me. I'm like, bruh, that is baby mentality as if the world only surrounds you and I can cry whenever I want and I get it. I'm, only, I'm like, oh my God. I mean, during COVID, I made friends on Discord. Some of them I can't consider my friends. But hey, I got their WhatsApp. I hear their voices. I've seen some of video call. I mean, I have something, you know? And you said, ah, I need 10K. Because he said where she was so controlling of him and he couldn't get away from her, like she's glued at his hip. He wasn't able to call. He wasn't able to, you know, video chat and stuff like that. So let's play a little law and order CSI by the beam by the boom detective. So the wife is so controlling. He still has so much time to be able to type everything and leave some evidence, but he can't even hide call like a ninja because that is impossible. Okay. And to be very specific, this was happening when they were filming Strangest Thing 4. So let's be honest about this. You just wanted to believe that your story is true. And once you really want to believe in and you're passionate about it, which you should have done with your own marriage, maybe, maybe, 
it might have worked. But no, you decided to look in the other direction at the person making a movie, assuming they really need the 10K secretly from you when you could have spent it on your own kid. An ultimatum, he said, listen, he said, it's either your husband, he said, or it's me. And I said, look, there's no competition. I said, you treat me better. So I told my, you know, I told my ex-husband, I said, listen, I said, it's not working out. I said, you're not letting me be me. You're not letting me be free. I said, I think you need to leave. So he left. Within two months, he was gone. Slay! Slay! And now I'm going to get angry. <laughs> oh my God. It pisses me off. I've been having a bad relationship, bad fight with the current person that I'm dating and the other lady that I'm listening to, <laughs> they make me feel so good about the decision. And in this current climate situation that you can divorce people so easy without consequence and effect and everything. Yo, you better send me this money. Then I'm like, yo, lady, come on, man. Think about your kid. I don't know a lot of ladies that will say, you know what? I need love so much. I just left my husband jumped to another one quickly that I never met, only chatted, that never had time to talk to me, and all that money I could use for my kid was worth trying to connect just in case. I had doubts. I wasn't sure, but hey, love is love. When Stranger Things season four came out, the day before it came out, he texted me and he said, hey, you need to watch episode four. And he said, if you don't watch anything else, watch episode four. And when it came out the next day and he showed up in that episode and I was like, well, who else would know that? They know how to find you. They know how to deal with you. So the fact you're like, Hey man, how did you know? Maybe they look for the information on 4chan. You can find it. You can pay for it. Actually, it's a good investment. This famous guy need money from you. Michaela. See, I wondered that too. And then he explained it. He said, well, he said, if I try to use my bank account, she's over it. He said, it's, you know, joint. He said, so she keeps all the stuff. And he said, so I would have to ask her all the time. And I understood that point too, because my ex was very controlling over our money. Well, as a husband, I would be too. I'm like, yo, look how you're spending money for love. That means, generally speaking, you will spend money everywhere like that. Of course, I'm going to be controlling with your gangster necklace here. I don't know why you bought it. I don't know how much money. Look seems to be good for you. You might be like a Hollywood person caring about people on the outside. Maybe your husband doesn't. So it's clear. It's like, yo, you need to control that money. And I know it's controversial for some people, but I like, bruh. She sent 10k to convince a person that he is better than his real life, her real life. I'm so confused with these things. Her real life. <laughs> and you could have spent that money on your child. And I feel sad. Let me know in the comment section. Like, share, hit the bell notification. And let me know, do you feel sad?